All right, I just did a 1600 mile trip, uh, 1595 um, this uh, week here and with the ruthenium plugs. Honestly, I uh, went up down a few mountain roads. Uh, performance with that iridium with the, the 95,000 or so miles on them. Um, seem pretty much the same. The idle does seem a lot smoother with the, with the ruthenium plugs, but as far as the acceleration and everything else, uh, seem pretty much the same. Um, and as you can see, average 24.6 miles per gallon um, on the trip. It was like, it showed like 25.6 or something like that on the trip down and on the trip up it uh, rained for about uh, maybe four or five hours of the drive. Um, but uh, rather than that, uh, two or three EcoBoost uh, did just fine and uh, gas mileage is alright I guess for a size vehicle. Um, not sure how the uh, normally uh, naturally aspirated V6 is, the 3.5 on these. Um, if you have a 3.5 V6 naturally aspirated, just uh, let me know what your gas mileage is on long trips. Um, this is actually a few days of uh, just driving around um, the beach and everything at slower speeds too and stuck in a little bit of traffic. So I think it did very well. Um, but yeah, if uh, you're buying plugs, I don't know if I'd really recommend getting ruthenium. Um, for the four cylinders, not much more money. So uh, if you want to spend a few extra bucks, uh, they're, they're worth a shot to try out. But as far as uh, performance and everything, it didn't really do much at all. Um, but they weren't much more, there's only four of them, so. All right, I got some ruthenium spark plugs for the 2.3 EcoBoost in the Ford Explorer. Uh, I'll just briefly go over what you kind of do to change them. Um, these clips here on the coil packs, you have to slide back to disconnect them. Um, take off the little wire holders here, and then there's another underneath each one of these. They're eight millimeter. Um, and then it looks like this, back one down here, I have to take off the air filter um, intake tube. So if I just loosen up this, this band clamp, move this up enough just to get this one out, uh, that's basically what I have to do. So the spark plug is 16 millimeter, so I will get them out real quick um, and then show you the difference between the new and the old ones. These should be our radium that come with this. Um, so if you're paying much, I have 95,000 miles, just see what the uh, ruthenium, if it changes anything. Okay, I got, got them out. Here's the new ruthenium plugs. Um, well, actually, I actually only took the one plug out right now, but you can see here's the, the old one. It actually looks like the color is really good on it. Um, plug getting a little rusty though, but all in all, it actually looks looks pretty good. The gap on it's still 0.032, so um, I'm gonna put some anti on these before putting them back in.